Hello everyone, this is Darren. Welcome to day 54 of my weight loss journey. As always, I am so excited you're here watching these videos. Okay, so today's topic, sleep habits for better weight loss. Now, I don't think we'd ever lived in a time in existence where our sleep has been more disrupted than it is in the times we live in right now. In fact, I was doing some studying of a research study involving sleep that talked about the amount of hours that you need to get depending on your age. And according to the study, it started out with an infant, zero to three months, needing 14 to 17 hours per day. And as each individual grew up, that time requirement went down. As a teenager, you need eight to 10, and then between 18 and 65, they allow you between seven and nine hours of sleep. Over 65, they say eight to nine hours. So the question I have for you, if you are between 18 and 65, which a lot of people watching this video probably fit in that category, are you getting those seven to nine hours? If you're not, you're probably doing something wrong. So let's talk about creating the perfect sleep environment. First of all, it's nice to create some consistency. Do you have a schedule? Do you go to bed at a certain time? If you have a schedule of when you go to sleep, the chances of you sticking to your schedule are high. If you are flexible, then whenever you do go to bed, and this is the case for me, sometimes I go to bed later, but it, I just allow myself a little bit more time in the morning to get those hours I need. The second thing you wanna do is make sure the environment is correct. What's the room like? What's the atmosphere? Are you blocking out the light? Do you need noise to help you sleep? Do you have the right bedding? Do you have the most comfortable bed? So you wanna look at the surroundings to make sure it's good. The next thing you wanna do involving weight loss is make sure you don't eat any large meals or a lot of stuff right before you go to bed. That will disrupt your sleep and actually cause your digestion to maybe stop you from getting to sleep. Another thing to consider is if you get into bed and you can't go to sleep, get up. Don't lay in your bed if you're not tired. Go do other things until you do get tired, then come back in your bedroom. Another thing you wanna make sure you do is don't drink any caffeine at least eight hours before you go to bed. And I'm talking like Cokes or any caffeinated drinks, sugar drinks, coffee, whatever it might be. Another tip I wanna give you is try to limit having naps during the day. I know a lot of people that take naps during the day have a very difficult time going to bed at night. If you are a person that does need a nap, I would try to set an alarm and limit that nap to one hour so you can still keep with your routine and get the sleep you need at night. So those are a few tips on sleep. Remember, if you're between 18 and 65, you're trying for seven to nine hours per night. Personally, eight hours tends to work best for me. Anyway, remember the importance of sleep with your weight loss, and it truly will help things work better. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like this video, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.